Alright. Hello, yes, this is the second attempt because we had a saboteur in the first attempt, so this is the second attempt of the second race in the season of the Dynamic Racing League. Welcome again. I'm having problems getting my co pilot here to come along and Mr. Pierre Vemmons to help me co commentate for some strange reason. He's having problems connecting to party. Strange. Huh. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes. Uh, let's hope he joins before the race starts. Let's see who's all out on track. Who's about to start a lap? Robbie's sitting on the side of the road. No idea why. What's that? Sorry I keep standing up boys and girls, but there's a bit of a fire going on outside, we've got four fire engine. So, Kirosh is getting the better of me, I want to see what's going on. I'm oh, sorry, one of the floors are on fire. <laughs> Seems to be a common occurrence here with fucking people who live in these blocks, like they seem to want to burn the block down. Wonder why? Probably because they're all nice in Walker, in Newcastle. We I man? We I man? Can he bag a Tudor? And all that sort of stuff. They set fire to the block, man. We I man? Toasties. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where the hell is my freaking coat coming? Hello? Finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> My Xbox wouldn't let me join for some reason. Tell me I accept restart my Xbox so. yeah. Alright. <sighs> yeah. Remember to click your box. Oh. Oh. 
And Beast Got has left, I saw as well. Yes, I see that, which means the door is now open again for guess who to jump in again. I locked it anyway. It should all be peering offline, so. Well, that's it. I'm, uh, I have to peer online or else it won't let me broadcast. Yeah. But you shouldn't be able to get onto me because I've blocked him. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, there's no, there's no way you can get through my profile. I've blocked his little sorry ass, mate. Richard just, and Paul. I was just really honestly, what's wrong with the kid? Why do you have to do that, man? I don't know. Alright, once or twice it's funny, I suppose, but when it happens nearly all the time, it's, it starts to get a bit sad, if you ask me. Mm. They could actually want to waste his he time did, he doing He did an alright first sector, but and then he lost it all in this uh, second yeah. and he's backed off. Robbie ended up in the fucking wall somewhere, I don't know why, what he was doing like, but he was, I seen him parked up inside the side of a fucking wall. So I have mm. no idea what happened to him. Anyway, Probably got we have got some again. viewers, so we'll, we'll get everybody interacting and seeing what's the crack. Let's get on to see who's out on track, putting some times in. Uh, uh, Stiggy's out on track, so... Oh Oh, he's coming into the pits. Who's this? Let's on board Mr. Dragon. Dragon 90. DRL Dragon 90. One of our new members. He's just getting scratchy, getting himself up to speed. He's not used to the game quite as good as what us veterans are yet, but I'm sure by the time he's done a season with us, we'll have him like Nigel Mansell. Well, maybe not. Oh, he's just getting out of the way, that was all. That was a bit drastic the uh, dragon to get out of the way, but anyway, that's Robbie. Uh, it's slowed right down. I can't seem to get anybody who's doing a fast lap. 24-2 from no. Mambo. Mambo's on one. Uh, it's ninth quickest through the speed trap, 184. Yeah, sure. Ross is not that quick in speed trap. Yeah, he's got the he's got the 24-2 for first sector, which is reasonable. It's good. Anywhere around a bit low 24s, high 23s, perfect for that first sector. What's his second sector time going to be? That's a 33-7. It's not too bad. 33s, mid 33s is good for the middle sector. It should he be a high 37. Yeah, he wants to be at least uh, 39, 38 in his last sector. Looking good for Mambo. Looking good here. He's uh, going to put a fast one in here. Oh, there is a car on track in front of him. Like, uh, Looks like it's a Williams. I'm going to assume that's probably either Robbie or his teammate. <laughs> And he's going currently third, provisional third on the grid with that attempt. Oh, somebody's coming out of the pits. Oh, that was rather dangerous. Aiden, sixth, seventh, ninth. Oh, excuse me, folks. I'm yawning. What the heck? Let's see, right, okay, right, currently, believe it or not, we have Mr. Original XT on provisional pole. Poxic in a Mercedes in second place. Very good time from him there, I'm 138 flat. Uh, Mambo is in f current pr provisional third. DRL Stig in fourth. Eight tenths off the field. One chop in fifth. 1.2 seconds behind the leader. Aiden, who is the uh, dragon, who's doing a 1 minute 44. I think that was probably because he messed up his lap. Sexy's done a 141, but it was invalidated because that's why he's at the bottom. Stig's gone out again. A Stig out again. Right, we'll get on board Mr. Stig, see what the crack is with his time. Let's have a look. <coughs> Come on, 
currently on an out lap. About to start his first lap. Let's see if he can keep it together. And this Toro Rosso, which is a bit of a bitch to drive, I must admit, but... Oh, it's all more for the challenge. The person who has got the ability to take on the challenge. Just in the case, folks, my uh, co-commentator -com tonight is Mr. Pure Vemons. He will speak now and then. He's got rattle his cage and throw him a banana once in a while. Good <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> so, going by that, he wouldn't have thought that Mr. Re Banking on Mr. Original being on pole. Wasn't he on pole last week as well? Yeah, I believe he was up there, I think. Yeah, I'm not too sure if he was Second. on pole, wasn't it? Was not Aiden or was on pole? Because he that's Aiden yeah, took off. Yeah, original was second. Yeah. Yeah. Aiden seems to be the boy on the track to beat at the moment, so I'm gonna have to go with the favourite here. And I think Aiden is gonna take Malaysia as well. Nah, no, that's over too slow. You Rando. reckon? Mm -hmm. Aiden's a pretty fast driver, though, mate. I think he's got the ability to do it. And you know yourself, it's not just about uh, quality pace, it's about race pace, that's where the, you know, the pointy end of the stick yeah, is. Yeah, but that save is not nice to draw, is it? No, that's I cool. will agree, I will agree with you on that, I will agree. It's like trying to chuck a friggin' bus around the corner. Hmm. That stick started a lap. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm on board with him now. He's got a 24-3 with the first attempt. Oh, really? He's 24-4. He's a full second down on his first attempt. Yeah, he might have given that one, son. Yep, he's given up on that. I thought so because he was a full second down on the first sector. There was no point going on. Robbie is in 24-9, which is a terrible first sector time. Robbie seems to be struggling you know, today uh, here with this Williams. Which I would have thought would have done well. I really believe that I would have thought the Williams would have, this would have been a Williams track with a straight line speed that Williams has got. Just shows he can't always get it right. Anyways, back to the action. Robbie, is he going to get is it a clean lap? It's going to be. Not the fastest lap he's ever done. Oh, and he's totally lost it. Well, that's his attempt. Qualifying. Improvement. Gone. Move on to another car. Uh, one chop is on an out lap. Dragon's on... Supposed to be a fast lap. Dragon must have invalidated that. Oh no, is it? it? Yeah. I thought it was a 36. Nope. I think Dragon needs to get onto the, the practice lobbies a bit more often, I think. He's really lacking yeah. pace. He really is lacking Eight pace. Seconds off. That's just not. <laughs> The thing about these Formula 1 cars, you've just not got to be frightened about throwing it into that corner. Just throw it in. You know what I mean? Get it in there. Mm. You've One got shot's to in a good first sector. Got to be brave. Yeah, yeah, I've just seen it there. Oh, he slowed off. I think. 
Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's backed off the reserve. 24 3 was a good first sector, really enough. Uh, Dragon 25. It's only Dragon and one chop that's on, on the go at the moment. Robbie has retired, so he's had enough of practice. They're qualifying, I mean. Uh, talking of which, let's have a little look at the board, see what's going on. Well, original looks like he's going to hold first place. Well, there we go. Original on pole. Not Williams is suiting him. Mambo, DRL Stig, Robbie. Right, that Williams hasn't it's not good on heavy fuel, so original. Yeah, struggle. yeah, yeah. And so is the Red Bull. It's terrible, and when heavy fuel, the first ten laps, it's a nightmare. Just wants to roll off every corner. Second. Looking good, boys and girls. For well, the original to take his pole. First one of the season. As I say, Aiden was on pole last race in Australia. So, well done to original. Can't see anybody else. Let's hope for a clean start this week compared to yeah. last week. Yeah. Dragon did six laps, I don't know if he pitted to d put a new set on. Mm. I hope he did. Uh, well, well, I think he might actually manage to get into break into the... No, he didn't. 144. Seven seconds off the pace. Yeah. He's on primes, though. What's he doing on primes? I don't know. If it rains, that's going to backfire on him. Uh, I wouldn't have started in the primes. He's already slow. He's going to be even slower on it. I'm thinking maybe I think what he's thinking is just going to stay out of trouble and just to hope that people get messed up and tangled yeah. in front of him. He didn't get DQ, did he? Last week he finished. Right no, no, he it. finished. That's all he needs to do to get score points. If he can get to the end, you've got to score points. More so since we've only got 10 drivers for this evening's race, by the way, folks. We normally have 14, but four have made it not been able to make it for one reason or another. So, we have got 10 drivers. I'm still sure it's going to be action-packed. Let's see. Are they going to have the... Nope. Look at that. I bet we get on Sunday. I bet we get them on Sunday. Oh, Sunday. We'll have the rain. Yeah, we'll get them, we'll get them on soon on Sunday in the F1 division. Guaranteed. Always the same. Right, viewers. We did have ten drivers, yeah. but one actually left. And I beast must have lost his connection somewhere, and he's like he can't get back in because once you lose, he can't get back in because it imbalances the room. So I think unlucky, unlucky, Mr. Beast. He will have a good room to turn one. Well, folks, shortly we'll be starting. The Stig will start the race off and we will be all action. We will, me and Mr. Vemmons here will pull off to the side of the road, retire and jump onto the action as soon as we can. As I'm sure we don't want to miss anything that happens at the front. So. Oh, yeah.
Yes, and I'm sure. Wait a minute. Xbox broadcast. Xbox broadcast. Let's see if anybody's written it. Ah. No beer shag. Yeah. Wait, where did you go back for? Xbox broadcast. Yes, Mr. Hammer. Uh, no beer and shag. He has got a house full of children and, and adults. I'm sure his head is getting totally battered. So, anyway, Xbox unsnap. Right, race is about to begin at uh, Malaysia in the F2 division, second race of the season. Let's rock and roll. I'll pull over to the side of the road and then we'll get to the action. Good clean start. Oh, we're talking about clean start. Oh, Mambo and uh, original having goals here at the front here, right? That. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. One shot and sexy in the background there. On board Mr. Bambo here at the moment. He's got original in front of him. Oh, an original goes very wide. Oh, so did uh, one chop. And now these two seem to open a little bit of a gap at the start here. Original's pulling himself a little bit of a gap here. Yeah. Foxy was who started second in the grade, he's dropped down to fifth place. I don't know what happened to him at the start, like, but he's lost three places. He's currently in fifth. Uh, back to Robbie, here is in sixth. Stig in seventh, a long way back. There was a collision between Stig, Robbie, yeah. and Aiden. Yeah, Aiden's uh, back here at eight. And Dragon's right, right back. Back on board with Mr. Original here in the lead, and Mambo. The, the, seems to be these two pulling a gap on the rest of the field. That Red Bull is struggling a little bit to keep up with my originals Williams th this evening, like. Yeah, and there's a server just in the background. So three different cars in the three di first three places. Williams, Red Bull, and a server. Is that a server or is that a Toro Rosso? Toro uh, Rosso. Uh, Toro Rosso. I see I get mixed up with the colours with the, the Red Bull and the Toro Rosso is like. They look so much alike. Hot kicks. Hot kicks about to have a Poxy's about to do what? Overtake Setka. <coughs> oh, oh, Robbie's a. Uh, oh, Robbie's coming up uh, the inside Williams. of Poxy here. Making it the outside, I mean. And he's made the move stick. That Williams in a straight line is fast. Oh, there we go. And he's got a good, uh, he's got a good enough exit here to get a sexy on a straight. It's lap three, so now DRSs are open. Not in this lap. On board Robbie here, looking good here. Trying to make a move on Sexy, our American compatriot. Right, 
dragons fell. Of course, for the inside move. Uh, oh, decided to pull out a bit. Pulled out a bit. Oh, and who's this behind Robbie's Poxy decided that he's going to have a bit of the action as well. Stig slowly catching on them three. Yeah, uh, is he? He seems to pull, he's, he's yeah. pulling uh, what do you call it, along with him as well. Dragon spun. Dragon spun. Oh my. Yeah. I think Robbie will have sex here on the street. Yeah, well, the street line speed of this uh, Williams is unreal. Oh, he needs a better way. exit. Oh, he's could, could have him. He's better actually not overtaking him on this first one, catch him on the second one. Yeah. Because that now he's now open to get. Oh, he's went deep though, and yeah. Oh, no, he got him still. So. Yeah, he got him. Sweet. Didn't get a DRS though. Sick. Yeah. Oh, yep, Sexy's coming up the inside, he's got the inside, oh, but Robbie's got the inside line to the next corner. Good battle here, good battling, well done. Nice move there. No, he needs, needs to pull away a gap now. Oh. On board with Mr. Sexy here. Who's got Poxic all over the rear end as well? So Robbie's got this quite a little chain here. Robbie, sexy, and Poxic. Fifth, sixth, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, I can't see anything happening. Anything happening in the front? Is the original getting caught by mm. Aiden or is it just. Slowly. 1.4 seconds. 1.4. Might as well keep on this action here, seems to be this middle section here that seems to be how, where the action is at the moment. Robbie seems yeah, to have managed to put... Oh, Robbie's gone a bit wide on the entry to second last corner, but not lost too much time. Straight line speed of that Williams. Just leaves him on the, on the DRS. And has he got the pace? Oh, nah, he hasn't got the pace. Oh, oh he's gone void again. Oh, he has. Oh, and he's lost it. Unless he, yeah, I think he's lost it this time. Oh, has he? They're fighting on the exit? Yeah, yep, he yep, he's lost the place. Nice driving. Board Robbie now. Original pulling away. Oh. Poxy thinking he's going to have his little goals there, like. Good little battle here. Stig's right on the back of Poxic now. Yeah, I'm going to come back to Poxic and then Stig. Yeah, I'm on board with Stig now. And I see Aiden's right behind these three. Oh, Robbie's gone a bit, a little bit wide in turn. Last second, last turn. Cost him a little bit of time. I'm sure Poxic's going to be able to, to capitalise on that. Yeah. 
quite a battle here in midfield. Aiden, he's on the back of it. Then you got Dragon. Oh. Point six seconds. Oh, Steve's got a better line there. Stig's overtaking Poxic, I think. Uh, yep. Has indeed. And Aiden's all over the back of Poxic as well. But I'm glad to see Poxic's getting in the mix of it though, right? It's, it's made a difference sticking yeah. him in the Mercedes, and I think that's a good choice. Robbie He's gonna, now. Yeah. The yeah. Oh, Poxic. Oh, he's going to have a little look at Stig there, change his mind. Oh yeah, Robbie's gone for the inside. Oh, is he going to carry too much speed through? But, oh, the exit. Sexy's got a better exit. Oh, it's going to be a fight all the way up the street here. Who's going to be under braking here? And Robbie's had to re oh, relent, but Sexy's gone wide. Gives Robbie the opportunity to go up the inside. Oh, tries to say get round the inside there, but no. No, oh, better exit though. And he has, he's made the move stick, well done. Nice move by uh, Robbie there. Coming up to... Very fast, oh, sexy, close to him there. All the time, stick is reeling these lot in. Uh. I'm going to imagine there's going to be a few people of uh, the old the odd warning like in the thing. I don't know if anybody's got pa time penalties yet. Yeah. Around to lap seven, normally we get two or three going. Robbie's got a three second and that's it. Robbie's got a three second. I think I could probably think why because he went w wide, I think, in one corner. Totally. But at the moment, sexy. He's on his dirty air. There's not a lot he can do. This is basically a five-way battle. It's a free... Mm. Told you it was going to be more action, didn't I? Told you, jeez. You won't get any of this. And is that Robbie Robbie's into in. the pits? Yep. Yeah, Robbie's yeah. pitted on lap seven, which is quite early. That tells me that's a four-stopper he's going for. There's no way he'll be able to do it otherwise. No. I'm gonna probably go to about lap 10. So I can get mine to 11 or 12, I think. Yeah. I start losing time once I get to about lap 10. Mm. As soon as I start losing more than a second and a half a lap or two seconds a lap, that's it, I'm starting to think of it coming in. Stig seems to be quite. Confident in this yeah, 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 it seems to be doing well. Tires don't look too patchy, so and it looks like you've got still plenty of grip. So that uh, seems to have had a little bit of a spread. Oh, is that what's going on behind us? Sure, Aiden seems so it's epoxic. Uh, yeah, Aiden. There's quite a little close battle going on with these two. Pox is really, I think, enjoying his new lease of life he's getting with this, uh, driving for the Mercedes. Yeah. Dragon's still struggling, it looks like. Yeah. I'm sure... Looks like he's got... I'm sure once we get Dragon into a few more practice races, we'll get him up to speed. It's just the confidence, you know, yourself. You've got to get the confidence to sling it into them corners. Once yeah. you get that confidence, it's fine. He hasn't got ABS on either, which is hurting him probably. Yeah, I think he's need. I don't think he's running with any of the assist on himself. Like, is it? Because for him to for it to be automatic, it takes a lot to spin a car out on on uh, full traction. Yeah, Stigger. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a neat oh, oh. little nudge from to sexy there, but okay. Little love tap. On board with sexy right now, folks. I'm quite sure Mr. Sexy isn't just gonna not go to the fight back to stick here and it looks he's got a better exit there at that corner. Hard to follow somebody this close through this section because he really rely a lot on the grip. Oh, that red, that four senior seems to have more grip around these corners at this stage of the race than uh, Toro Rosso, Mr. Stig. Yeah, I think his tyres look like they might be dying. I think they are. I think I'm expecting Stig to probably come in on this lap. Whereas I think the four senior probably could go for another one or two laps. It's got so much more space there. But if I remember right, yeah, the four senior is quite good on tyres. I, I think remember even on eco mode. Oh, and Aiden's all over the back end of Mr. Sexy as well. Oh. And yeah, oh, stick wide. He's very wide. He's. Has he got the? And yeah, sexy got the DRS. So. Oh, stick goes for the inside. Oh, man manages to pay it off, has he? Oh, and Aiden's in there as well. Hell of a scrap between these three, like. Oh, and Stig's gone wide again. Is that Aiden catch Stig's up? Stig's got two? a three second penalty. Oh. Robbie's got a six now. They're going to have to uh, pace the sauce. Oh, all three of them go wide and exit that corner. Four. <laughs> Mercedes in the background as well. They're all struggling for grip at this stage, but then again, they've got very worn tyres. Lap 10. I know my tyres have proper orange by this lap 10 so I'm think already thinking of coming in this lap I would have came in, in the last lap actually not this one oh oh no oh. not again oh that's giving Aiden a little chance to come up the in inside oh oh but he's held on sexy's match there. oh no sexy's oh. gone wide oh gone in What a battle between Aiden, Sexy and uh, Stig and all them. Really good. That's it, Stig's in the pits. Yeah, Stig, I seen. I knew he was going to go in there. But yeah, Sexy, you might as well. You've got good grip there. You know, you utilise it as much as you can. Oh, he's well past the Sauber going down the street there. Obviously, means though. Oh, what am I doing? Hell of a bunch of need in here. Oh, and Sexy's gone wide. Oh, he's lost it. That's, that was bad. That's bad for him, son. It's cost you time there. Any people haven't pitted a Mambo, Aiden, Seki, and Dragon. Mm. Oh, and Ridgel's pitted because he's fourth now. But Robbie in fifth. One chop, sixth. Yellow Stig, seventh. Foxic, eighth. Dragon, ninth. Back to leader Mambo. Wonder if he's going to come into the pits in this lap, or is he going to go for another one? And he goes in the pits. Mambo's in. That means Aiden will take provisional first place if he doesn't pit. Aiden stays. No, he stayed out. He stayed out. He's gone for another. 
Sexy's coming oh, into the pits. Mm. So, Aiden is wanting to try and push as much into the race as possible with these tyres. Original who's second, who's... Oh, he's only six seconds down the road from him. And a fresh set of rubbers, so it's not going to take him long to catch him. And their options as well, so... I can see a 6.8 seconds go. Oh, Original's gone wide again. Have to be careful, son. Three second penalty for original. Yeah, I seen the corner he did it on. Oh, and Poxic. Oh, had a major moment there. They're all pretty spread out now because of the, obviously the different strategies are all going to be playing now. Aiden coming down to start finish straight. I'm going to assume he's going to come into the pits on this occasion because his tyres are bound to be shot by now. Yeah, yep. I thought so. Which Original's doing some Colin McRae. Oh, oh, what the hell? What is Original doing? I'm recording that. Well, he's just let Robbie take over. He's in second pause place. now. I think. No, no, he's, oh, he's off now. He's driving now. I, I have no idea what he was playing in the alley. No, he's still in pause mode. Oh, no. Is he sure? Oh, he is, aye. He's yeah. in pause. He's in pause mode. Now, no, what no. No, because Mambo just went straight through the middle of him. What the? Oh. What's he doing? And he's left. What? That was a blatant leave as well, by the way. Yeah, I'm recording that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've got it on the feed as well. I'm actually blatantly leaving there, just quitting. Right, anyway, we'll talk about it after the race. We're not going to talk about it now, but yeah, you know how much of an imbalance is the room when people leave. Yep. I don't understand, considering he had a, a beautiful lead there, he was going to have a good chance to win the race. Hey, Robbie, he's in first. Now, there we go. He is indeed. We're on board Mr. Robbie, the second Williams driver. But his toys are a lot more worn than Mambo's. Yeah, because he went in lap 7, didn't he? Yeah. So, 7, 14, they're going to be around about the same. I'm going to assume he's going to be coming in lap 16 or 17. Quite enough. He'll never make it. If he could only make 7 laps, he's not going to be able to make them 13 laps. So is he? Yeah, it depends how many laps you did in qualifying. Ah, true, 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 true. Never thought of that. Yep, yeah, you're right, Batman. So, yeah, basically, he wants to get to lap 20. No doubt we'll find out later what uh, the problem was with Mr. Original. No idea. Yes. They might have a valid reason, like aliens come down and abducted him and did a, an internal examination with a finger up his butt. Short of that. Oh, oh Robbie, Robbie, stay, keep it on the track, son. You're going to get penalised for that every time. I think the pressure... Six seconds as well. Oh, he's going to have to be careful. Mambo... By the way, he's slowly reeling him in, I believe. He's 2.3 seconds behind him at the moment. See what it is after the next intermittent time. This total oh, roster seems to be... going to get lapped in a sec. Yeah. Again. 
Yeah. But, at least he's enjoying himself, he's racing, and that's the main thing. We'll get him faster later. We'll get him up to speed. Mambo's not really gaining on Robert. No, 2.4 this time, he's actually lost a tenth in that last sector. So, he's not making a headway with Robbie. Oh, who's that wide out there? Dragon slaying him for him. Oh, right. That was a bit drastic, son. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> 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 you don't need to go for a mountain here just to get out of the way, you know. <laughs> but he's still on the grass. Let him uh. one chop through. I think he's letting the whole field through. You know, uh. Oh, yeah, we need to we, we need to talk to him. Get him to realise you don't need to do that much. Ambo lost another two temps in that first sector. Yeah. Yeah, he's lost another two temps. Yeah, it seems to be Robbie seems to be edging away. He's edging away, even with the the the, the more worn tires. Seems to Robbie seems to have found his rhythm. So when you get your rhythm Seek right, you know. Closing on one shot. 2.5, he's gained a tenth in that sector. One second separates Stig and one shot now. Yeah? Stig and mm -hmm. one shot. I'll get on that battle. I'm on board with Mr. Stig right now. He's behind Stig. Oh. oh, Mambo dropped it to 1.7. Oh, is he? 3.4 in that last, last Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought he was, it looked like he was starting to gain him. And I think either, I think Robbie might have made a couple of mistakes. Oh, here we go. Stig's looking like he's getting feisty for a move. Oh, he oh. goes down, makes a dive down the inside. And makes it count. Good move. Good move. Lots of respect between uh, the drivers there. That was a nice move. One chop had to con uh, uh, concede because he, he's just like broken, really. Just uh, breaks. Oh! And does. This. Oh! A little tap there, but. It's okay. One chop was fast through that corner there. I couldn't believe how fast he came up alongside the uh, stick there. And he's got himself back in front of Stig. Oh! 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 And it's given. Poxic. And Poxic's gonna take the two of them! <laughs> well done, Boxing God, son. Oh, uh, no. Stig tapped him. That was that was. That was yeah, Stig's cool, really, yeah. That was just a racing incident. It, it, Stig just yeah, tapped yeah. him. It was enough to put him off. Boxing mugged him both. Unlucky them. Stig. That was Boxing to the two of them. <laughs> well done, Boxing. Uh, I'll have to get back to that. Boxing was rubbing his hands there, thinking, "Yes." Boxing is now in third. He's in third place, go on son. Very good job by him. Oh, and Monchop really struggling for grip Wanchop's again. one has got six second penalties. Oh, I am so wide and he can't go wide. Aiden. Then we've got Sexy. Stig. Seventh, but he made a mistake. He just tapped the rear end. It was just enough to send his front end off, so... Racing incident, my son. Racing incident. Yep. And Robbie Mambo is currently in first slightly. place. 1.7 is the gap at the 1 moment. 1.8 now. Yeah, he just pulled away 10th. They're swapping, they're swapping sector time to each other, really, so they're not really gaining or losing. It's pretty no. static. Good race, but it's been so far. Uh, some good action, some really good racing between drivers. Two seconds now. Yeah, two seconds. So yeah, Robbie seems to have put the hammer down, put the foot down, and metal. Xbox broadcast.
Fox that he's actually leaving one shot. Gaining the gap. Xbox on about snap. to overtake each other. One shot versus Aiden. And Aiden's got him. Oh no, one shot's got the inside line. Oh, oh! the taking each other out. Two cybers took it. I just oh, caught the tail end of that. I've got it all. Did you get it? Yeah. Uh, I, I just caught the tail end of the two of them going sideways. I don't know who was at fault there. We have to look at that again. Now Stig's back into fifth after that. Yeah, it's all paid off for Stig. He's got the two cybers out of the way. Hoxic has just flew off into the distance now. Oh, ma oh Mambo is now 1.4 seconds behind the leader. Robbie must be struggling now on tyres. Yeah. He's going to be within DRS range shortly if you do. Yeah, them tyres and Robbie, Robbie's must be starting to go now. Like he has done 11 laps, laps on them. 11, 10, 11 laps. Oh, yeah, yeah 11. Yeah, 11 laps on them tyres. Like, so I'm going to imagine they're going to be pretty, pretty shattered by now. Has he got the DRS? Let's find out. Versus the DRS detection, well, uh, deployment. Well, it doesn't look like there's no DRS there. But there's graphics on this game to always show you. Definitely within a second there. No. No. Oh, it looked like a that looked like a second to me, man. It's one second dead on. Jeez, look at that! I one second, seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred of a second off of getting the DRS. But he's all over him here. He'll have him this lap. Yeah, I think uh, Robbie's probably, probably going to pit on this lap anyway, so... He knows he's going to have to go. Oh, Toros oh, has got the inside. Oh, what a corner to overtake on as well. Go on, no, no. Well done, Robbie. Good driving by these two here. Good driving. This is how we rock and roll in the Dynamic Racing League. By the way, if you want to check us out, we do have a website, www.dynamicracingleague.com. More than welcome to have a little look around. There is a blog section. I'm sure you can uh, leave any comments, what you think about the commentary and the racing. We also have a Facebook page, Dynamic Racing League, but it is a closed group, so you'd have to request to, to actually go on there. Yeah. Very good soldier. Very, very good. And the F1 stream on a Sunday night gets streamed by I'm underscore da underscore stig. We'll be streaming on Sunday night, the F1 division, which I will be racing in. So you're more than welcome to come and watch that one as well. Oh, when it's fine. Uh, and oh, here we go. Robbie going to go in. No, Robbie staying out again for another lap. And tires. staying out. Uh, I think I would have uh, maybe went in on that lap, like. That Williams has got so much power on that. Oh, stroke. look at this though, and uh, it's all about the braking, and obviously because he's got more grip, Mambo is going to take the corner. Oh, Robbie thinks about coming back up the outside, tries to do an undercut on him. He's gone for the undercut. No, nope. it didn't work. No. Nah. Might get him here though. Yeah, he always looks like he's going to have his goals. Straight line speed of that Williams. Unbelievable that Robbie's had to back out of it. It's going again. One chops in the pit. One chop in the pits. That's early P boy like lap ten, I think. Oh Robbie's going wide again. Uh, Robbie has got another penalty. Let me check. And there we go. I'm more than sure than sure that he's going to have to pit in this lap, right? These tyres will pop before long if it doesn't. Stig's got a 
Stig just got a five second penalty for ignoring yellow flags that will get taken off the end of the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, an illegal overtake. Yeah, Aiden's yeah. got a three second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop it down the inside. Oh, and Robbie stays, stays out, out for another lap. Really? Oh, he's thinking he's, he's going to get the other. He's trying to do a three stop, yeah. I think. He's pushing his luck with them tyres, like. Goes for the outside move. Has it made Still a count? No, it's it gone wide. Like. No. <sighs> just haven't got the grip, Robbie, anymore. You just haven't got that grip. That front left looks very warm. It looks like it's going to pop. My friend, it looks like it's going to pop. The front left gets hammered on this track. Absolutely hammered. Yeah. So if any tire is going to pop, it's going to be a front left. Hopefully, Stig, that five second penalty won't affect him. Oh, remember when we were right there, but. Oh, same corner again, just every time he just gets, can't seem to get it, keep it in there. It's a hard corner. It is, mate. That Red Bull is lovely around it, though. That's where I gain all my time. It's on that, them yeah, three corners. Same. That's where I gain all my time. Go on. Uh, definitely, Robbie, you're, f you're starting to pull, fall back from Mambo now, so... Definitely suggest it would be a good time to get yourself into the pits and get a nice fresh set of rubber on. It's lap 21, you've done not too bad, you've done... Well, lap 70 came in, so that's 14 laps you've done on these options. Stay and, he and he's gone for another... Really, Robbie, you... Nah, oh. he's tired, he's going to pop. The will? You'll not get oh, 15 laps out of a set of options. I know what he's thinking, he's going for the, the free stop. But Poxic's in. Poxic, I thought you'd be in. Well, Aiden and Stig are quite close. Alright, I'll get to Aiden and Stig then. Where is Aiden and Stig? There's Aiden. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm bored with Mr. Aiden right now. Looks like he's coming on the outside, he's going to have a go out the outside, can he hold it on the outside? Oh. Stick keeps the inside, of course that's the better line, and gives him the entry to the next corner. So we're against a Toro Rosso. There's not much difference between these two cars. No. But one car gains, it loses to the other, you know, and the other one. You know, like the Cerber's got good power, but it's crap and cornering, whereas the Toro Rosso is not so bad in cornering, but it's crap and power. <laughs> so they sort of balance yeah, out between the two. Them. Dragon's been lapped again. Mm. Come on, Aiden. See uh, some action here, get up right up behind Stig here, the little fe Surely feisty Irishman. Surely Robbie's going to pit this lap. I would have thought. There's no way he's going to make them that tyres go much further. Well, Mambo's come in, and so is Robbie. Mambo's yeah. taking advantage of that. Yeah, he has, because he's going to fresh Robbie. He's, got, he's going to be on the place of the track where he needs to be in front of Robbie. But Robbie did cut some of that pit lane entry. Oh, you might get he might you will get penalised for that. He will. And he has. Yeah, 40 Three seconds. Would. Yeah, straight away. He's on nine. He cannot touch the grass at all in the pit entry. Stig's in. Mm -hmm. Aiden's staying out. But Aiden stayed out longer than anybody else before, didn't he? Yeah. So, I'm going to imagine he's going to be probably coming in for another, another two or three laps, yeah. There's Robbie come out the pits in front of Aiden. Sexy's first. Sexy, sexy's first. Now there's, there's a comment I never saw. I'd say. Yes, my dear little Force India is currently on first place after lap 23. A Mambo. Mambo's put on the primes. Uh, so Mambo's is Robbie. Ma they're doing the prime session right now. So. And so is Stig. 
Mambo, it looks like he's going to be taking first place off of Sexy shortly though. Gaining in every corner. Obviously Sexy's going to have to come in and pit in this lap, like, because he's just going to lose too much time. Yeah, they've got to do 20 laps on these primes if they're doing the free stuff. Well, yeah. You could probably do 20 laps on a set of primes, but I can imagine they're not going to be looking pretty healthy after lap 15. No. Sexy's probably going to pit this lap. Yeah, we'd definitely think so. Yep, definitely looks like Sexy is pitting. Yep. Yes, he is indeed. Uh, Uh, sexy in the pits. I wonder what tyres he's going to put on. He has a three second Let's see what sexy pits on. What tyres he's going to put on. Prime. And, yep, he's gone for the primes. Poxic, who's just taken fourth off him. Right across the line. Probably said 26 laps on primes. Stiggs is coming across the start finish straight, so he's going to be behind as well. Yes, he is. One chop, seventh. Dragon in eighth place. <laughs> and Mambo, who's currently our leader after all the tyre changes I've done. Well, one of the predictions right saying one to a Roth will be leading. <laughs> yeah. He's got a Williams hard chase him down. No, Robbie looks like he is gaining on him. I can imagine he's going to have a, uh, a mirror full of friggin' Williams before long. Poxic's the only one on options. Yeah. And Aiden, actually. Yeah, Aiden's on options. Mm. And I can imagine Aiden's going to catch these two in front pretty sharp then. Yeah. He's going to be so much slower on the last then. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but I tend to, I tend to like... Oh, Dragon just moving out of the way. Dragon. Lad. Being lapped yeah. again. <laughs> but at least he's sticking it out, mate. That's the thing. He's sticking it out and he's just... It's all, it's all a learning curve. It's all a learning curve. We've all been slow once upon a time. Yes. Some of us still are. <laughs> That's why I'm in a Red Bull. <laughs> I'd actually I'm take it as I would take it as a compliment if I got moved down a car. <laughs> I think one chop's in Paul's mode. One chop? You sure? Yeah, he's oh. in Paul's mode. You can see right through his car. Yeah, he's in pause mode. Can't be sitting in pause mode like man. No. Well, duly noted, lap 25, one chop. In pause mode. It's all recorded. Hey, I'm going to move back up to the action because I'm not going to sit and watch some of these in recording. Uh, in pause mode. Mambo, who's still got a hard pushing Robbie, trying to chase him down. 1.9 seconds currently behind the leader. Aiden's pitted. 1.7. Aiden's pitted. Aiden's pitted. Really? Did Aiden pit? That's his second stop. No, he didn't pit in the first place. Ah. Oh, well, at the moment, Robbie is 1.7 seconds behind the leader. Aiden's put primes on. The Fox yeah. 6, the only one with options on. Yeah.
Bunch of retired from the race. Don't leave the room, Mr. One Chop. Please do not leave the room. Oh, I love my flying cars like we did on Sunday. Mm. I don't think maybe you might be having Mrs. problems again. <laughs> yeah. Robbie uh, 1.2 now. Uh, he is. He's definitely reeling him in. He's getting into that little area called DRS zone. And that Williams is already fast on the straight line to begin with. Get that on it. And Dragon. What's happened to Dragon? No, he's just letting everyone pass again. <laughs> hmm. He's a gentleman. Yeah. Gentlemen don't win 1. races. 1.6 now. Robbie lost some time that last Yeah, episode. yeah. I don't know what happened there. He's lost four attempts. Yeah, they're all pretty much spread out at the moment, like... The last stint's going to be interesting, all of them on options except for Foxy. Not only a Creole close battle on track, it's the first and second place, which might as well stay on at the moment. In fact, during this little lull in the actions, this is what we call a commercial break, where I go make a cup of tea. Mr. Vemmons will take over commentary. Thank you very much, Mr. Vemmons. I hand the mic over to you. Oh. <laughs> uh, Robbie seems to be gaining and then losing at the same time. Second to last corner. Now he's gone wide again. Probably that corner where he's losing it the most. Williams looks so horrible to turn in. Arnold Schwarzenegger pauses. 1.6. Two tenths that lap then. There we go. Bet you wish I had a body like mine. No. <laughs> Um, oh. 1.6 uh, still. Uh, seems to be hovering, I don't see, it doesn't seem to be getting. I think once he gets in that certain bit of dirty air, he loses too much. Yeah, definitely. That, that Williams is already on, on the edge as it is, and it wouldn't take much to lose the grip on it. See, he's pretty. Seems okay in that section. It could be also fuel conservation as well because remember you can't go rich all the way from start to finish in this. Nope. I tend to go rich for the first sort of five or six laps, then I'll stick it back to medium, get to the pit stop, and then stick it on rich for the f second bit. You know what I mean? And a fresh set of rubber. That's not generally what I do. Like, there's me telling you my tactics. E. Oh my life. Yes, viewers. I know. Anyway, back to the action here, and looks like uh, 1.5 seconds is the gap. Seems and looks a lot closer here. That definitely looks closer. 1.4. Yeah, for it looks like it was closer. Get it in tight. Get it tight. That's it. Better exit on the second bit. Can he do it? Uh, don't touch rumble strip and knocks the car off. Stig's got another f uh, three seconds. Oh, I can set the five seconds yeah. off. 
he's going to be, he's going to be, what do you call it? On the verge that of getting himself a DSQ. Yeah, that's what mm. I'm saying. So regardless if we take it off at the end or not, he's going to get a DSQ. He's going to have to be more doubly 1 careful. 1.1 no. Yeah. And it definitely looks like 1.1. One second dead, but he's not in the DRS yet. Oh, he needs to be closer here. Mambo still penalty free though, so it's good. Yeah, let's look. Oh, I'm wide from Robbie there, Robbie. Yeah. At the end of the day, Mambo just needs to get the car home because I can't imagine Robbie pulling away six or nine seconds ahead if he even gets past. Yeah. Him. You know. If I was Robbie, I would just like, not keep even the a, car on the track now. It's not as if the strategy is going to come into play because they're both doing their prime stint now. Yeah. I think Poxy might lose his podium place because he's not really gaining away from the people on primes. I personally, if I was Robbie, I would go into just standard fuel. Just pace the car out, save a bit of fuel and just blast it when he sticks the options on, you know what I mean? Mm. Trying to eco out these primes as far into it as possible. 1.6 again now. Yeah, it's just going up and down, back and forward. Yeah, is anybody else any closer? Aiden and Sexy are quite close. Aiden and Sexy, let's get onto Aiden and Sexy. Yeah, yeah, I see these two. Oh, the walls. Hmm. One point six still. Yeah. Oh, sexy got a bit of out of shape coming out of that corner there, and it's given Aiden a lot better chance. Definitely within the one second here. If he gets around these few, few corners here, it's going to be within sexy's DRS. There we go, and he's definitely, definitely within a one second gap here. He's got a definite move coming up here, like, all about getting the exit on this corner, right, can he come out of this? Oh, he's cut that corner, that would definitely have probably given him a penalty for that. Probably, I'll check after yeah. this. Right, he's got his DRS open, don't overtake him in here, because he'll just take it back off here. Use this just to get you lined up. Right up behind his gearbox here. Cut in and get behind now. This is where you want to be overtaken. Yeah, look at that power difference. Even with DRS open, that Sauber cannot catch. Mad. Couldn't catch oh. him. They couldn't catch a Force India there. Riding that curb. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's gone for the end. These two are having a really good scrap here. Couldn't tell you he's gonna win here. Oh. Ooh. 1.6 though. <laughs> and MTO are gonna just be stay static, I think, to the end of the race. <laughs> this is the closest battle on, up and down the field at the moment, it's sexy and Naden. But that straight line speed of the four seniors keeping keeping the the, the cyber at bay. Just the cyber just can't seem to do anything. So this is where you start thinking about well, plan B. Wish it would start rain. Oh stop cutting that corner, Aiden, you're gonna get slapped with penalty again. Watch it. He's cutting that second last corner. Right across the chevron. And I know for a fact it's usually pretty strict there. No, he ain't got any penalties from it. Yeah? He's got a warning. Strange. 
Nah, it just hasn't got the straight line speed that Force India's got. The Force India in a straight line no. just ekes away. Leaves the Cerber behind. 1.8 now. 1.8, so he's, uh, he's starting, his tyres are starting to go then. Still got another day, 10 more laps on. That's why I'm going for a four stop, kid. Sod it. Means I can hammer the shit at the tyres and not have to worry. When tyres start wearing out, I start making mistakes. You start getting silly penalties. Pussy cat. No pussy cat. Everywhere I go, you're there. Yeah. Everywhere I go, you're there. Hold on a sec. I've just got to switch that light on. Lap 52 out of 56 here in the Dynamic Racing League. Second race of the season for the F2 division, the F1 race on a Sunday evening at 6.30. Um, welcome to come and watch that, it's all the elite of drivers in there, which of course is why I'm there. And that's why Mr. Vemmons is there, because we are elite drivers. Well, I'm elite, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky man. Yeah. I am like the Jensen Button of fucking of D Dynamic Racing League. The Roberto Murray of Dynamic Racing League. <laughs> you're, you're more like Crash Maldonado. I don't, I don't even cause the crashes, sir. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's because you're usually always too far behind to, freaking, uh, to get involved in crashes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Robbie's tired. I tell you what, you've uh, 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 even in our practice races though, since you've jumped into a Toro kid, you've you've got a little bit more pace with you now. I'll be winning on Sunday, don't you? Bro? You think? <sighs> Gotta get past me first, All bitch. Right. You're struggling to overtake me, that trick about so. <laughs> and sexy looks like he's gonna be getting uh, a little. Blue flash or better silver flash passing him any second now because Aiden Aiden's all over the back end of sexy here. Well within the second gap here. Oh it's all about entry and exit here. Can he get a better exit? The cyber against the force India again. You'll have the DRS open a bit. That no, doesn't show you, obviously. Oh, it goes oh. to the inside. Oh, that was oh, hard on the brakes there. Oh, who's going to make the pass? Uh, Aiden sexy. does look dive bombing, doesn't it? Yeah. If he had any sense, he would have got him on a second DRS here. That's where you Did need to again? be. Yeah, he's gone for the inside, but it pushes the car oh. out. Yeah. yeah. He's got to give space to the inside, yeah, nicely done, nicely done. He's got the job done, no, he's got past them. But boy, did he have to work to get past Sexy there. Oh, and Sexy oh, looks like sexy he's not giving up yet. Oh, oh Sexy. He's the board there. Oh, these two are pushing the limits of the track, shall I say. Oh, both going up side by side through the two fast left, right. What racing, boys and girls. What racing, look at this. Go on, Aiden. Go on, son. Oh, come Aiden's on. Aiden's more like Maldonado with all this dive bomb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure after he watches the races, and we've mentioned it a few times, he will calm down in the future. Because <laughs> you would have had a better exit if you just chilled and got him on the second DRS. And he's dip ruining his tyres boy. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're killing the hell out of your tyres. Overheating them and everything. Four second gap now. Four seconds? Oh, he's pulling away then. He's got it. Right, he's got it. Uh, 
<sighs> I think Aiden's just getting frustrated because he knows in a straight line that four seniors is going to pull away. Yeah. But he's catching them so fast in the corners. Next week it's not going to be happy because it's China. Oh, China. China. It's all me old China. It's not one of my favourite tracks. Oh, yeah. Make. You want to hear our last race in F1 2015? Monica. What? Put that in your calendar. What? Monica is our last race in 2015. In 2016? No, in 2015, Monaco is our last race. How do you know this that? Season. Cause it's five weeks till the game comes out. China, Bahrain, Spain, Monaco. Yeah. You're going to enjoy your final race. I hate Monaco, my friend. It's not a track I, will, I really enjoy racing on. I really don't. Dragon's been lapped. Again. It's not that I can't do the track, it's, I've, I can do the track, it's not, nothing to do with racing, I just don't, I don't like, like racing it. it, I just don't like it as a track. Last time we did it I did 12 pit stops then. So. You know what I mean, it's all it is, it's just a procession. It's very rarely you can get an overtake manoeuvre uh, maneuver done for even taking damage or giving somebody damage. <laughs> it comes by Aiden. Oh here we go, Aiden should, but if you have any sense to stay behind him. do it again. Yeah, don't go for the bomb. Just wait. It's all about timing here. Get a better exit. Oh, and oh. that's just opened the door open for him, so he should still have a DRS. So. No, um, no, what about uh, whoever's sexy picked <coughs> Hmm. So. Sexy was on primes. Was he? Yeah, so he's doing the fourth stuff. Ah. See, strategies are all over the place and you don't know who's doing what. Robbie's struggling on these primes, it looks like. Alright, anyway, let's have a look down the field. Stig, currently in fifth place. Sexy, currently in sixth. Dragon, Foxy seventh. got a puncher on your screen. Who? Foxy got a puncher on your screen. Uh, Poxic, I'll have a look. No, it looks fine to me. Oh, well, he's going to get a puncher soon then, because that means he's going to get a puncher next lap if he stays there. Alright, uh, okay, I'll stay on board with Poxic, see if our premonition comes true. <laughs> he's for a less burst on my screen, so... No, uh, it's not. Is it the front left? Yeah, he's going to end up popping if he stays there a couple more laps. Uh, it does look quite worn and he's bouncing it everywhere like oh, yeah definitely would see the front left does look patchy like oh, there's a bird look? going through the track ah he's coming oh, in like ah. he might just get it before stig Robbie yeah, he takes provisional put uh, first position at the moment. Mambo uh, must be doing the full stop as well then. Uh, Mambo is currently 4.6 seconds behind the leader. I don't know if Robbie's still got to come in and pit yet or... Yeah, it's just the times have broken since people have left. Yeah. Uh, they're all pretty much spaced out at the moment, so... Very picturesque to this place, look at that, beautiful that, look at that folks. Isn't that lovely? Lovely day here in Malaysia. Yeah, on when Sunday, we race on Sunday. Right. Yeah, on Sunday it'll probably yeah. rain, because it always does for us a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Always oh, rain. oh the dragon, the dragon's anyway. moved over, out to the, it's just got out of the way again. Then he gets lapped. Yeah, and Robbie seems to be in command at the moment. Stay there. Still on them primes. So oh, is that not? Are the options? No, he's on primes. No, he's on the primes. I think he's trying to extend these tires to a free stop now. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do. Which might work out in the end. From it depends how fast Mambo reels them in. 
on these options. He's currently 16 seconds behind him. He, which means he will be in front of him on the next pit stops. Fifteen point three seconds. So he is reeling them in. He is catching them. Quite fast as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fifteen point three. That was like one second. He'd already gained over a second. He's got to do another six laps to do it. The amount of way in it. Another five laps to make the three stop work. Mambo's. Uh, Really pushing these cars, making, he's doing everything he can to catch them. 14.7 seconds now, the gap. Box it catching, stick. Slowly. Whoa, Poxic, where are you going, son? Ooh. Oh, it might have been lag. Probably was lag. Yeah, he just seemed to bounce off the... Off. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my. That was definitely bad lag there. Better That's get off him before. Seems to be fine on my screen. Uh, mate, we just... Uh, he seems alright at the moment. We were just bouncing before. Oh, there's doing it again. Within 11 seconds now, Mr. Mambo chasing him down. He's got to get it to 43 at least. Yeah. Make it one stop work, the one more stop he has to do. Because Mambo's going to have to stop again. But Robbie's got them penalties. And Robbie's got them penalties to carry and he'll know. Anyone's got them, no. Mm. Robbie's having a very pretty good race to, you know, this evening compared to what happened last uh, Sunday night. No, uh, uh, Friday night. He came right? second last week, didn't he? Yeah, he came second, but start was a bit. Weird. Poxic's got a three second as well now. Poxic's got three seconds? Right. Mambo's the only clean person out on track. And if he fetches it home like that, he's got this in the bag. Oh! It's a freeway battle here. Well, which way? Well, whoa, whoa. DR, Stig, Poxic in sector. Oh, I see it. On board uh, yeah, at the moment. Just come from. Oh, 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 oh sexy just, sexy just fucking. Sexy turned into. Him. Yeah, that was definitely. That's twice Stig's been taken out tonight. <laughs> That's free now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor. Just not having a good race with Mr. Stig. Mambo seven seconds now. <laughs> I can imagine the little Irishman sweaty birds to be going off in the car right now. He's cutting corners for long to be angry. Yeah, yeah, he's angry. Watch it, Stiggy, I'm watching you son. I'm watching you, Stiggy. 
Rob isn't. Robbie are 16 laps and options. Yeah, Dragon's not using uh, ABS, Raji. He needs to put the ABS on and get used to it. Oh. Oh, Robbie makes 16 laps and options. Yeah. Mambo takes up the lead. Aiden just overtaking Robbie, but Robbie's got the inside. Oh yeah, on board with it now. Oh. Primes against the options, uh, Robbie's always going to have the better exit there, like. Stig's in the pits. Stig's in the pits as well. Put another set of primes on. What? 15 laps. Well, you could probably get to the end of the race and then. It's not going to be really fast unless you just want to get points. So. Uh, I mean, if that's what he's doing, he's maybe just cutting his losses, you know what I mean? Get to the end of the race. Yeah. Which is what I would do probably, Two you know weeks. what I mean? Mm. 19 seconds between Robbie and Mamba. When did Mambo pit again? 33 or something? Yeah, I think so, something like that. <sighs> I can imagine he's going to come in in the next couple of laps, two, three laps, and probably in the next two laps, change on his options. I would pit on 46 maybe, or 43. 45 is what I'm trying to head to, so I've got like 11 laps that can absolutely smash them. Hopefully I've sa saved enough fuel so I can go rich. Yeah. He's currently 18 seconds, he is catching a bit slowly. The second the sector, I think. Oh. Dragon's been in the pits, well. set of options on. I'm going to assume yeah. he's probably asked him to the end of the race. Robbie, 18.3. Yeah. It's not really gaining. It's not gaining really, no. It is, baby. Half a, half a second per lap. That's not going to be really enough. Because I'm going to assume these tyres are going to go to the end. Even if uh, Mambo Gum comes in and he's two to three seconds behind him, he's going to catch him straight away with a fresh set of rubber yeah, on. Yeah, and he's got the nine second penalties. Yeah. So I think, barring mechanical failure, Mambo's got it in the bag.
hell's going on today? Like, there's fires going all over the place. I've got firemen, bloody ambulances everywhere. <laughs> Right, folks, back to the action. 18.4, so he's actually lost time. It's a mambo there. Let's have a quick flick down the field, see if it oh, right, Aiden's in the pits again. Why is Aiden coming in the pits? Oh, right, yeah, it's just oh he has him pitted for his lost slot. Yeah, he's doing it now. I'd assume he's going to come in and set of primes? No? Uh, options. options. Yep, yep, he's got options. So I attempt at the end of the race. Steg, I'm going to assume he's going to go to the end on these primes, but I can't imagine it's going to be. Did he get out in front? Yeah, he has. Oh, the old dragon just getting out of the way of the leader. Sorry fans, I'm getting distracted from what's going on outside. <laughs> Get back to the action here, where's my needle brush? Um, Robbie's 17.6, he always took a second back there like. Pretty much well spread out, like. Sixteen eight. Four's Mambo will be put in there. Yeah, sixteen eight, yep. Yeah. He's definitely catching up. <coughs> And he's Mambo trying to go to the end. Oh, really? Oh, maybe he just. So I don't think Mambo knows about his penalties. No, I don't think so. Because I know if I get penalties, I'm not telling nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Mambo, sure. If he goes to the end on this, he's going to lose so much time. He will. But don't forget, I think Robbie's going to the end on these tyres. Robbie's got, yeah, he's only doing 16 laps on these, where Mambo is doing over 20. Mm. Time split now. 15 for you. Penalties again. Yeah. 15 5 yet. Uh, Stig just got another three second and dragon. Oh. Stig's gonna have to be careful. Yeah. But he's having a ter terrible race as it is. <laughs> I've seen him spin out. He's getting the last few laps. He's <laughs> getting DSQ now. We're we'll probably icing on the cake. I'm glad to say though I've got nothing to report in as an incidents really. Ap uh, Not really. Apart from the qualifying one. And people leaving. And people leaving. Well the qualifying one was was, was between um 
I can't remember who it was now. I'm sure it was Robbie and... Oh, uh, Robbie and Dragon in the first follow-up. Yeah, Dragon, that was it. I don't think Dragon knows he needs to get out of the way. If yeah, the yeah, yeah. I think uh, it'll just be a, like a cautionary warning to, to Dragon Lake, I think. Lap 47 out of 56. We're coming to the close of this in the moment. Robbie is on leader. Oh yeah, but, ah, there we go. Mambo's been in. And Mambo is now 10 seconds down the field from him. 10.9 seconds to be exact. Is that rain I can see? Oh, it is. Oh. Yes, can I just see rain then? Last few laps. Yes, in. This has oh. gone in Robbie's favour. I've, I thought I could see a few spots of rain dropping down. <coughs> Xbox broadcast. What's oh, the no, it hasn't. Doesn't always Second tell me this. Might have a podium. Oh, yeah, he did. Xbox unsnap. Right. Career mode looks really good on the next go. Oh, I know. I can't wait. I'll put pictures on the Facebook post. I was so disappointed with the career mode in this. Sex is in the pits. Sex is in the pits? This looks like Inters. Oh, like I inters. Don't, for, don't think I'd go into Inters. I think I'd just try I would. This is it. coming down heavy. No. You reckon? Yeah, this is coming down quite ever. Mambo is like eight seconds behind the leader at the moment. Will Robbie stay out? Well, you've only got another seven laps. Well, the track gets. I want to. It's Sex pretty hard. on the full wet. What? He's Nothing just throwing else. away a podium. What's he doing? It's not. It's not even intermediate track yet. It's He's still a dry line. The podium. No, it's all over. That's all over. Sexy, bad strategy move. Bad strategy move. He's overheating. Oh, he I'm will. Solid. They'll just be all over the place for them. Stig could get fifth now. Uh, he's still 8.5 seconds behind the leader here. Let's see what the time. See if anybody's going to blink. Come in. Man, we're no. staying out. Nah, it's way to go. This oh, is getting heavier. Mind and Each saying lap. that, yeah, I think I would have probably even chance coming in and putting into it on now. Because that does look like it's starting to get rather slippy out there. Yep, yeah, there's a spray coming off his wheels. It splashes as well. Aiden pops it getting quite close. Yellow flags. Oh, it's dragging like 8.2 seconds behind the two front runners, so. Aiden and Pox it again quite close. Yeah, I'm watching it now. I'm on board with Aiden. This track is just going to get worse. What a time to start raining. Oh, Pox has gone wide. He's lost it on the first turn one. Oh, he's went wide the again. Traction. He's lost it. Yeah, he's no. lost it. His tyres are cold. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, sliding all over the place. Yeah. That's Seki, it. I think, might be okay. I don't know, like, the tracks, I don't know if it's not, it's, it's intermediate now. I would say it would definitely be intermediate now, but it's not full Sticks wet. In. What's he going to go on? Intermediate or full? Don't go on full wet, please. 
Yeah, oh, he's gone on full wet. He's gone full wet. Well, it wouldn't be in Malaysia if it didn't rain. Come on, really? Yeah. They're just lucky that it's only happened in the last he's Robbie seven staying laps. Out. Robbie goes in. Robbie's going in. He's going intermediate. Our chance he's intermediate to go. go in. Robbie Mambo's gone in. I think I would go intermediate because we're even for six then, laps to go. No, then four wets are working for six. Are they? Yeah. Uh, yeah Aiden, Aiden well. is struggling. He really is struggling on his uh, slicks. Four wets for Robbie. What is Mambo going to put on? Mambo's putting his on. Go on, Mambo. So it's Robbie's on four wets. And Mambo's on Inter. Yeah, that's the way I would have went. Intermediate. I don't think the track's wet enough Mambo's for the first time. Mambo's going to have to hope this doesn't get heavy, you know. What's Aiden? Aiden's coming in. What's Aiden going to go on? Let's get on board with Aiden here. Let's see, he's coming in the pits. God, the friggin' sober garage is right down the friggin' lane, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Robbie's gone wide! Oh. The Inters do look the strongest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, here again, yeah. Mambo's got Aiden's, Robbie. Aiden's on intermediate as well. Here we go. Mambo's now robbing it. Yeah, Mambo's all over the back end of Robbie. Them wets, yeah, even yeah. Ro Robbie's just giving it up because he knows Bad choice. He's just going to have to hope it. getting heavier though. Yeah, it's definitely getting heavier. It's going to end up, it's going to be full west before the end of the race. But I think at the pace they've got the now with intermediates, you're going to be able to pull a Mambo's bit of a gap. gap. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to pull a gap. This last sector definitely looks full wet. Yeah, it's still a dry line there. I can't see any puddles at the side of the road yet. Yellow flag. Didn't know that yellow flag's coming from. Probably dragging it and somebody passed. No, he's in the fur end of first sector. No one else is there. Right, well, at the moment Mambo is taking full advantage of the conditions and he's pulling away. Gap is definitely bigger. It's no point coming in now, Robbie. You might as well just stick it out with these wets. And it looks like it's gonna play in his hands, but it's not gonna be until lap 53, I reckon. When it's gonna be full wet conditions. Uh. <coughs> well, that's the gamble he made. Did he go full wet or did he go intermediate? This is it. And the way that rain's coming down, especially in this sector, I can start to see Mambo puddles. struggling. Mambo's starting yeah. to struggle, struggle now. Yeah, there's definitely a puddle I think appearing. Robbie might win this race. We need <coughs> to get that nine second gap. Well, this is it. If the track gets even gets a little bit more wetter than what it is, it's going to play in his hands. If anyone's got any more penalties. Oh dear. Go on board with Robbie here now to see how he's doing. It. Robbie's nice. got 12 seconds now. No, oh 11 yeah. seconds. Nah. 11 second gap's going to be hard to get on Mamba. This is definitely four bets now. It's. Look like it's going there. I can't see the puddles yet, but it seems to be the tire. Down the start finish street, it looks pretty wet. <coughs> right, Robbie needs 11 seconds, a gap on Mambo to them. Yeah. Looking like... I think Robbie might take another second place in a row, though. 
another way. <coughs> no, it's consistency, mate. And that's what's gonna win. That win. That's what wins championships. Wayne Hammer went. Wayne Hammer went consistent last year. And he, can, he can look at him. Who's up there at yeah, the top of the board? Good. Yeah. So consistency. That's all it is. Banging them points in. Robbie looks like he's starting to gain. I think the intermediates are going to start to struggle now. Yes, there's definitely there's puddles appearing everywhere. So the intermediates are going to be the wrong tyre to be on now. With four laps to go, including the one we're on, Robbie could have a good chance of taking advantage now of the weather conditions. Definitely reeling them in here, corner by corner. It's not. It's only 4.0 seconds in the last sector. What's it now? I'll find out when we cross the line. Final corner. Oh yeah, oh. Mambo. Mambo's gone in. Mambo's gone in. Mambo said Robbie. that. Robbie is going. Oh, that means Robbie's going to take it because there's no way Mambo's going to be make up that time. Robbie's going to win this race. Robbie's going to win, including Sexy his penalties. He might overtake Mambo. Yeah, you reckon? Robbie just needs that call now. Why is Mambo? Us. Mambo's come in. He should have just stayed out. He's on full wet. Sexy's so coming around the final corner. Is he going to be getting out in front of Mambo? I don't think so. I think Mambo's going to have enough to get no. out in front. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. Aiden decided he's had enough of the intermediates and he's gone in. So, the people who c decided to go on full wets had the right strategy. Well done to them boys, because I wouldn't have been one of them. I would have been the one going in the pits now. <laughs> and Poxic was across the line and still he's still sticking out on his intermediates he's the only one on the intermediates I believe really he's sticking out he's saying sod it I'm not going in Stig's he's got gonna have him fourth place he's got at the moment Stig's gonna have fourth though because he's on four whips yeah oh yeah oh boxing sliding around a bit gotta keep them intermediates hot or they're no good as soon as they get cold they are Absolutely crap, like as he just found out. Yeah, Stig's gonna be all over him here. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, Poxy. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh my. Stig's gonna have him here. Oh, Stig, keep it under control, son. Oh, Stig getting all out of shape. Oh, cutting corner, son. But Stig does have a lot of penalties there. Oh. But Poxy's gonna have to fit though, so really. Yeah. yeah oh no, there's a Sauber behind there. Yeah, there's a Sauber Aiden there, yeah. could get fourth. Aiden's still in there as well. So Stig could what still get What a finish to this race. Poxy made the bad decision of staying out in them intermediates. But then again, either way, he was caught between a hot, hot rock and a hard place because if you've come in, he was still going to lose time. Oh, Aiden gets totally out of shape in his third last corner. Totally lost it there. Aiden was disqualified. Aiden has been disqualified. Oh, oh no. Lap 53 out of 56, and Aiden has been DSQ'd. We have lost one to the stewards. Oh well, Dragon is still going as well, can I just mention the fact that Dragon is, even if he is, 9 minutes 47 seconds down the road, but he's still there, and he's still giving it everything he's got. Robbie is currently in first place, and looks like... He's got six he, though, so... Oh, he's got to be, have to be careful. People are starting to get the DSQs now. Good decision by Robbie though to come in and put full wets on. Well done. Quite possibly could have won him the game. Won him the race. Six 23 seconds down there. the road is Mambo, so 
I think safely to say, even with these penalties, he's got it. Mambo trying to keep his tyres cool, see there, he's hitting the puddles. Sexy third place. Stig is currently in fourth. Poxic fifth, still fighting away with them intermediates. Give him his dues, he obviously had no choice, there was no point coming in, so he might as well just stick it out. Oh, oh, it's this. Dragon. Robbie looks set to win this. If he's on his penultimate lap. Oh, struggling every time in that corner. Imagine them wet, so it'll probably be quite warm because they would have been overheating like hell at the first. Yeah. Probably yellow. Yeah, they probably are oh yellow no. now. Well done. Nice one. <coughs> Robbie needs to make sure he <coughs> keeps going off. Well, this is it. He just needs to fetch the car home. No point pushing too hard now. Then he's going to come across Fox the line. on the inter. Yeah, yeah, he's, st he's stuck it out, mate. He's, uh, he's stuck it out. Well, there was no point in coming in, was there, really? No, not really. Robbie on his last lap. Yes, in the second race of the season, not bad, he got uh, first, uh, second place in Australia. He's now going to go take victory here in Malaysia, Mr. Robbie E, 1975. A very good tactical decision has won him this race. And he chose to go on full set of wets at the right time of the race. Well done to the Robbie. Monchop has left the session. That's a race bump. No, there's only one lap to well we're nearly finished, why could he just stay to the end? Yep. Ah. Anyway, back to the action. Robbie is a winner here. At Malaysia in F2 division of the Dynamic Racing League. Well done, Robbie. First place. Second place is going to go to Mambo, who also had a very good race, um, but tactically made the wrong decision on tyres. I think that's what's cost him the race. And he crosses the line and takes second. Well done, Mr. Mambo. Take a screenshot of the, the scoreboard afterwards, please. Yeah. Because I can't do it when I'm broadcasting. And third place. Goes to sexy. Obviously, this is preliminary in case we've got all the penalties to sort out. The we'll see at the end. Stig, fourth place, quite a bit down the track, but it looks like things. One minute, six seconds. So it's going to be a little while for him to wait for Mr. Stig to cross the line. But well done, Tim. At least he's finished the race, which is one step better than what he did last week. Did he finish last week? No, he got a finish here, he got a DSQ'd. No, he finished, he got fifth. Oh, did he? Alright, oh, I stand corrected. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right, well done, Stiggy. Poxic, and his debut race in the Mercedes, grabs fifth place. Well deserved 
fifth place for Mr. Poxic. Like I said, just he was left with a decision to just uh, stick it out in these uh, intermediates. You know, it was a roll of the dice and it didn't pay off. But fair play to the guy, at least he stuck it out. Got to the end and he's got some well deserved points there. That's nice 10 points in the bag. 10 points for the team and 10 points for him. All goes well. And Poxy comes to cross the line. Oh, and totally loses it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Robbie say I car took him out. <laughs> Robbie say I car took him out. Oh, he's, he's got disqualified because of it. Oh, no, but that, obviously that doesn't count, does it? He's going to have to get his fifth place, like. No. <laughs> that was terrible. Stick at 20 seconds. He did it in half. Took a screenshot of that kid. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well done to the boys there. So, Robbie, Mambo, and Sexy are oh, getting in for the TV interviews. Dress very shortly, folks. So, don't go nowhere. And we'll, we'll uh, get the, t the after race feelings from the three podium finishes. Obviously, got to wait till everybody goes green. Uh, Robbie's joined. Nice one. We'll get him in, in a second. Tobacco, Remember to uncheck your box, Robbie. Remember to check your box so you include your audio. Go to you know you go to, you know you hit you know you hit the middle button and go to like you see who's in you know who the, the party bit. Yeah. That's the one. I'll get uh, get Mambo in. <laughs> oh, no, you put them on tyres on, brother. You put, when you said it wasn't ready for full wets, I was like, brilliant, brilliant. He's going to have to change. Yeah, man, that was it. It adds you, didn't it? Right. Anyway, boys, before we start getting chatting, we'll get into this... Uh, the little TV interview afterwards because I am still streaming boys we had a good race it was a very good race to watch some great action all the way through um, just waiting there um, make sure everybody's in and they've got the included their audio and bought me and who came third? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was sexy wasn't it? sexy oh yeah. nice anyway my, uh, let me see right Robbie well done. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Nice little win there, and that was a good call on tyres. We fought at first. We thought no bad decision going out back in the full wets, but awesome, mate. Uh, As it turned out, it was the right decision. So, yeah, how did the race go for you, kid? It, it was good. It was good. It was a bit of an incident on the first first corner. Um, I, I could, there was a little bit of nudgy budgy, but there was nothing... nothing uh, Serious or like that, just dug deep, just cracked on. You know, there was some great racing with sexy light. There's some really, yes, really good was. racing. But we caught quite a lot of it. But yeah, it was it. Yeah, it was the tyres. I was catching uh, Mambo, and we went in when it started raining. And then when he said to somebody, "Oh, it's not, it's not full wets weather," I thought, "Ah, he's got intermediates on." And I had full wets, so when I saw him going in, I was like, ah, "Yes," but I knew I had a few uh, second penalties on me as well, so it was. Uh, a bit touch like and touch and go, whether I'd be just yeah, yeah. in front of him, but I did race well. It's my first DRL uh, victory as well, so yeah, yes, yeah, so that was a well, co now. well deserved. They got second last week as well, so to add that two together, yeah, go, yeah I mean, it looks like you're going to have a cracking championship, fella. It, it is, mate. Podium every week for me. Yeah, that's the way you want, kid. That's what you want. Well done again to Mister yeah. Mister Robbie E. Well done for winning millions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll move on Here's to second that. place, man, Mister Mambo. But, oh man, I, my heart went to you. I thought you made the right decision going on intermediates, but then we see what happened with the rain, and I thought, bad choice, kid. How did the race go for you? Chucked it away. You did oh, really, yeah. Uh, Chucked right. it away. And them tyre selection, I, wasn't it? I, I was, I was clean all the way through that race. I had no penalties. I must mm -hmm. have had maybe three or four track extensions. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Nothing major. 
Yeah, yeah, we noticed that too, in the feed. Yeah, we absolutely cleans the whistle, no warnings, no penalties. I thought, yeah, all he has to do is fetch the car home here because Robbie had 20, as you can see, 20 seconds worth of penalties. So, mm. you know, it would have been really yeah. good. But yeah. I made the mistake, so it's my fault. But congratulations, yeah. Robbie. You you were always there. Just you proves it. Race and... Just proves it. Just proves that strategy does mean a lot. When you're doing 100% races, mm -hmm. it just takes something a little yeah. bit of rain like that, and it just throws a spanner in the works. But and congratulations! You know, I yeah, go on. I said I said to to Stig before the race. I said I guarantee it rains here, and I was the one person during that race that I was like, it's not going to rain. So <laughs> I didn't plan for it, and no. it comes to it, and I knew as soon as that rain came, I knew that that was going to yeah. going to yeah, change yeah. change the uh, finish yeah. up, and it did. Yeah, well, thank you very much, boys, for giving us such a really good race to watch. It was really exciting. There was some really amazing, good, respectful driving between a lot of drivers. If you watch the feedback, you will see it. Our viewers definitely seen a few, a few uh, good, good racing moments. Uh, so on that note, uh, we'll be moving on to our next race, which will be China next Friday night, same time. Feel welcome to join and have a bit of view and watch uh, the, the action again. F2 will be racing. Uh, F2, F1. Is racing on Sunday night at 6:30, so I guarantee same action again. You'll be there. I'm the Stig, is the the streamer. Watch out, join us again. Thank you again, viewers. We'll see you next time from the Dynamic Racing League season. Good night. Thank you. Xbox stop broadcast.